It doesn't really matter if I'm kidding or not kidding. Wow, my apartment is warm as hell. I am going to turn the air. Suppose it just hasn't kicked in yet. So, uh, God, I'm going to start, but I don't know how far, you know, this will end up being and becoming. I'm going to start playing while I, no, not even that's accurate. Jesus. I already started playing Disco Elysium. This is the game that I wanted to play. I was actually going to record a part earlier, but then it just didn't. And it's really annoying that it didn't. And I'm kind of sad and pissed. I played about an hour and a half ish of the game. We didn't get make any real progress because I inspect and do everything. Uh, I'm playing the game like I would kind of play it if I was myself as the guy, as myself, as the guy. Um, as opposed to just the guy himself, I suppose. Um, this game's really interesting. It throws you into, you know, what's going on. Or it throws you into the game world with essentially a blank slate, but as a full-grown adult who has had a whole life up until this point, And you don't know anything about it. Because apparently you tried to kill yourself, uh, not wanting to be who you are as a cop, and uh, you failed. But it's resulted in some serious amnesia, but you still have, I suppose, like, the, the, the you that makes you you. So, I'm going to pick up from where I left off. Uh, I'm only going to play for, like, maybe another, you know, play, 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 mm, pay for, like, a... Wow, Jesus, play for like an hour or so, um, so I don't stay up all night again, like I do every night, at least in an attempt to not stay every night. Uh, this has been a very interesting experience thus far, I actually kind of like it. Um, I managed to, I guess if people have played the game before or whatever, I want to have, I guess, some backstory for what I did already and what I've done already in the game. I found all my clothes, including the shoe. I have really good deductive reasoning and logic or whatever. Um, pretty balanced general stats or what have you. And um, I've been pretty thorough throughout the game to find like all the stuff that I need to find because I'm generally thorough anyways. And these games kind of work as if no matter what you're doing or what you're playing as, even if you have the opportunity to play like something else, it probably behooves you to play one of the smarter characters if you have the option to be smart because you can you know access a lot more of the game's dialogues and whatnot just kind of by default um, you can inspect things more accurately or what have you just you know lots of lots of different things so um to catch you up there's a body it's hanging from the rafters well it's hanging from a tree i suppose and uh can i really not do anything with the body anymore Yes. Well, that's not all really yet. There, he still is, looking right through you, with his white I eyes. I suppose the body below there's is no way to get through this, so I'm gonna throw, have to throw to up. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. Try to walk away. It's time to throw up. All right. Too late. It's impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Keep it. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Not sure you shit. do. You just threw up a lot. All right, fine. There is Fritz nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't... Greenhouse. There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner. Hmm. Ah, oh, interesting. Pretty clever. Active decay. All right, we're, we're ready to So, it's interesting. I said interesting because, um... Just before this, and now I remember what I was originally going to do. I was going to go talk to this gardener, and the game 
essentially forces you into certain amounts of dialogue or certain types of dialogue, I guess, based on what's going on. So, like, it inevitably leads you to this gardener. Uh, because whether or not through rational questioning lines or whatever, that you'd end up here anyway. So that's really interesting. Oh. No, I'm not talking about the street signs. I want to talk to the person. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? Sounds we don't surprised. see a lot of police around here. That's all. I have questions. Of course. So many questions. What can I help you with? Uh, do you have ammonia? Sure. I'm done with it. All right. That Go was easy. easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. So what have you been doing in your greenhouse in March? Well, uh, this might be the last snow we get. At least I hope so. Snow has nutrients in it. Helps everything green up in the spring. At least that's what my grandma always told me. Yes, think about the cute grandma, not the weird snow. <laughs> Squint your eyes and look at her intense, intently. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Stop looking at her. Look around. What do you see? I see... What do I see? I don't see anything. An entrance to the yard? That's right. And the canal. The bookstore. The harbor gates. This is a great vantage point. For keeping an eye on you. Interesting. But I like to speak out loud, so... No, of course not. I don't understand what this is about. The kid did this, right? The red-haired rat? Can't say a sentence without or kipped? He's always giving me trouble. I was talking to him, yes. Maybe you shouldn't be. I mean, you do your job, but that kid is beyond help. And he certainly won't help. That's not you. true. So the kid has already helped me. You know, you, you, when you when you really go through things and exhaust all dialogue, there's always a way. There's always an avenue. It's a video game after all. You've been resting here for quite a while, haven't you? Yes, I'm tired. She's tired. I understand. The RCM isn't welcome here, and the locals want to keep an eye on us. There's silence. The smallest of smiles. Interesting. That's okay, Miss. Do what you have to do. I think we're done here. Let's go. Of course. Where to? Oh. Well, here's here's where I get to do all the what information do you mean? dumping. Yes, sir. District of Martinez. He knows where north. we are. He just wants directions. So There's the, the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings. What's the in the harbor west? gates? Or sorry, east. Some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. Harbor a fleet. Gates. What's Some in the south? shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast. On but the other it's side of the just the coast. There's a little and fish. In the west. It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are no all problem. For now. What is this fuck Excuse the police me? business? She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. The street line, the street. No, never. I'm never uncomfortable. I don't care about people being uncomfortable. Sometimes it's important to get to the bottom of things and, you know, do away with things like empathy. Sometimes it's important to be direct. You can be. You can not talk about something, or you can talk about. She something. shifts in her seat awkwardly. Right. She doesn't even know. Of course, I won't. If there's a corpse, then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy. Can I borrow your gloves? Sure. Keep them. I have another pair. Fantastic. This game really gives you a lot of uh, freedom to move around. What's a scab mean? I'm fucking up scabbing all the time, man. Scab? Jolly eyes. It's Mar it's it's Mario Jumpman Mario. You're hazy on the notion of a scab. Smells like politics though. Maybe it's got something to do with the flask he reaches for from time to time.
not a scab, I'm a cop. I was just messing with you. No one's ever seen a cop scab. Uh, well, yeah. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> Interesting. Speaking of, what brings the RCM here? To the wild north? Come to see the strife? I don't have to tell you anything. You know, serious business. I'm sure the big boss will be glad to tell you. You'll have to ask him first. Well, where's he at? He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike. Return once you've met the union boss and are on a better footing with the organ. Let's see. So where's the guy? Hmm? It seems that I'm semi-free to go as I please. Are you the boss? Nobody betrays your degeneracy. Yeah, Measurehead. His body totally betrays his degeneracy. All right. That is precisely the negligence that has led you to succumb to all rule. I see. You reek of it. An invisible sword of Alhul emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. It is making the woman in my company sick. All right, I, all right. You're right. I'm an alcoholic. No, no you don't. You need to get another drink. Occidental Aplo Group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence of the Am Sandwich Rays is waning. Where's my gun? Begging for help. Attempting to pass fear for cooperation. How far the you Jesus gave Christ. the world. Alright, we get it. We get it. You will be piece of shit. It is, baby. There is a button right behind him. Just out of reach. It must be the one that opens the door to the harbor. Enough with this. Bring your troops to the seamen. You all. There may be a peaceful solution to this. You could internalize Meshachet's race theory. He would take you as one of his own. Ah. Well, not as such. What you do with the mastery of advanced race theory is up to you. You could reject the findings, sure, or accept them and become an advanced racist. Advanced racist. Anything about this mug? He does not so much as glance at the object. This kind of Stop thing. showing me your He had nothing to do with it. Right, well, might as well become Ask a racist. What kind of races there are first? Classification is core to this stuff. Do you? The lieutenant looks toward the harbor. You are obviously a liberal, Sailorite. A polyculturalist. Oh God. I can see it from your love of microtechnology and your sartorial choices. Do not deny your friend the truth you have denied yourself. Oh, this man's shirtless. I see. There are three categories of race. Tip A. The heroic races, Tibe, the servile races, and the vile CF race cauldron of pederasty. Oh, Which one? Top. Those are the Simonis, the Areopagite, and the Occidentals. Excluding the Mao, of course. The Mao are riddled with eczema to the point where eczema. they find it impossible to smile. Jesus. They are all lactose intolerant, a common result of inbreeding. Oh my god. A receding genetic pool has led the mound on reprehensible street parades. In mound cities like Stats Canal and Vredefar, you know them by the names of their nation states. The Oranese, the Gotwa, okay. 
is a derogative term for first world people of Godvoldian descent. They do not all have eczema. Also, people of Katla, like the Sulu and the Uhu, are much more lactose intolerant. In some municipalities of Oranje, people do wear shoes made of wood to street parades. Green, orange, and even yellow tassels have also been seen on hats. Don't lick my phone, Blue. Come on. What the hell's wrong with you? The mound are proof that you can have too much occidental racial purity and tassel-centric culture. Inbreathing has led to a lactose intolerant subrace whom no one can take seriously. Colorful tassels are, let's be honest, not a good sartorial choice for this century. He might want to avoid wooden clogs too. <laughs> the Vesper times and Messinians of Vesper and Messina, the ancient Meteorans of Meteo by the Golden Pisantic Sea, the Suren of Sur la Clé, and even the North Königsteiners, all have Tip A race propensities. They're freaking out on me now. The other large Mondial civilization, the Mesk, are too yellow and oleaginous to count as a heroic race. True, they are violent and expansionist, but they have a glandular problem. A glandular problem. Overproduction of sebum. Sebum, sebum is leaking sebum? into their sebum? brains. Making them listen to El Mariachi music and eat toxic minced meat based food, which in turn only produces more sebum. Sebum? Sebum? Is that, what is he talking about? As proven by the mound and the mask, Occidental Tip A is in retrograde. The Seminese no and the Areopagite are on the ascent. Oh, Jesus. So much dialogue, man. The indigenous people of this, the Insulindian archipelago. Right, you Simonese can... inhabit the southern islands. I, I can read pretty quickly, so. Ah, the Areopagites are the master race. Oh, the master race. The Ilmara deserts. Oh, Simonese the are descendants of the Areopagites. The Areopagites are sleek, long headed. Simonese are powerful, dip shit, dip shit, dip shit, mesomorphic. Dip shit, the former is an immutable progenitor. The latter is perfected and adapting. Together they form the Simeno Ariopagit or Simeopagit super race. That is all. Nature was not capable of more. You need to know both teams A and B to understand the context for the reckless no, no, genetic the abandonment in the field of gold hall. You want one of the sour patch? Go fucking get it. Go. Yeah, you have to have gun bags, you know. Sorry, I forgot to type the type Tipu B are the unmeoric races, amorphous non-competitors of the great race. The Koikos and the Vacholier, they are mud colored people. Um. The Koikos of Gra, Yugo, Zimsk, Chest et al. are what you would call white officer in a suspect description. Yes, to an untrained eye, the Koiko appear white and pinkish, like a hand sandwich. But look into their eyes and you will see. Pinkness is a racial quality that has to be earned through centuries of advanced ballistic warfare and cultural domination that the Grad people have undergone for drinking al rule and smoking the degenerate tobacco herb and for eating potato. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, because you can see it in the bottom left corner, uh, I never wiped the mirror so I see my face, because I believe it's irrelevant, uh, what I look like, and therefore, uh, I did not, uh, I, that's why my, my depiction is so fucked, because I don't even the know what I like. The Koiko, 
The countless micro-nationalities of Grad are all inexplicable. Which is a really unique take on uh, that. The to do only in a video thing game and I like, like that. more is divided into microscopic. Wouldn't he be one for ethnostates? <laughs> they are microscopic. Microscopic. It's lead those words. Alright, this guy's fucking bullshit. Halfway between the A uh, and the Racial called Race mixing. Is it 82,000 years that we've been recording history? You have very little idea of what is happening. But that seems a little off. The revolution came to. The revolution is fatal familial in some. I read the Fatal Familial Insomnia is the name of my uh, the post rock the uh, heavy grunge band. But not enough of Tibet mediocrity. Tips the F are a museum of failed chimeric experiments and tragic maladaptations. They are tortured creatures waiting to be put to sleep. Your morbid interest in them worries me. Lesser races like the Mesquito, a grotesque mixture of a mask woman and a Seminese man. Only possible if the Mesquito is born sterile, like a donkey. Donkeys are sterile? All they have left is to ride customized motor carriages with hydraulic suspension. Listening to a crep. It seems unlikely that two human beings produce genetically sterile offspring. You are right. You have misunderstood. You l then there is the Simino Koiki Chimera. You didn't pause. Are you sure you wish to know of the Simino Koiki Chimera? It is sure, the Koiko, me. as you know, are very servile, especially when they meet the rich man. Racial scientists have toyed with the idea of crossing the Simonese with the Koiko. This will never happen. The Simonese and the Koiko may have, but enough. It is cruel to entertain ourselves with. You understand nothing. Okay, great. To solve the great race enigma, you have to first ask yourself, what is the race enigma? You have no. not even worded no. the mystery, let alone solved it. You mm. need to internalize what you have heard here today, then return to me. This clarity does not come instantly. Christ, of course it doesn't. I cannot possibly imagine what else we have to do. You discuss these nuts in your mouth, my guy. You annoying fuck. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cabbage of papers hanging from the book. There it is. Oh, Master Fantastic Races. Swirls in your head. Desert Pygmies playing with their own excrement. Kojo's juggling potatoes. Eczema ridden mounds critting, mounds critting and dancing on wooden clogs. Everyone is there. The whole race gang. Plus some of that stuff you may have come with yourself. Thieving scub kips. And still you like cast of fortunates. Hatching some kind of scheme. In the eye of this race Empyrean. Vertigo reaching up to the heavens. You sense something drawing nearer. Nearer. Oh, I don't know anything about anything, man.
The unpromising race pupil returns. Oh, don't be vulgar. White or not has got little to do with this. The race enigma runs much deeper than that. Mr. Claire is a man of vision and means. He has also to serve his noble. It takes discipline. Your petulant individualism has only contributed to your race failure. It is lax and moronic. My jam is a mysterious fourth thing. It's called suicide, apparently. Jam. Individualism. Whoops. You have gotten these ideas from degenerate one, youth culture, have you not? Offshoots of the I am not surprised you enjoy it so much. This has happened to many of the side products of the in- I, we are, I am a descendant. The narrow streets of- No. I have heard about it, yes. This could have made him more open to discussing the race enigma with you. Oh, uh, don't be vulgar. Oh, yeah. He stood also to serve oh. his noble. Did the jam. He takes this jam. Individualism. You have gotten these ideas. <laughs> oh, I am not surprised you enjoy it. But we are the few. I am a descendant. The narrow streets of Ulumbui. No. I have heard about. I'm from Kuron. And no, it is not just. I'm fucking you have heard too. enough about our phylogenetic secrets for today. You have extinction to come to. I don't think anything. Your pedomorphic friend is right. You should. Racists are generally not very good examples. I am not like them. I am craniometric perfection. I have taken the trouble to permanently draw a phrenologic grid on my skull and features. This should dispel any doubt. You exhibit forward projection of the jaw, indicative of schizophrenia and Just sexual inaccountability. From a purely aesthetic standpoint, the dimple in your tell me more it is impossible to, to see any five years more this guy. of your bone structure it is covered in the ravages of alhul from what remain of your feet this leads me to conclude you are not a police officer you are a common criminal an offspring of murderers and sailors from like Kle and Vesper and possibly even the degenerate sheep herders of Ubi. Your racial heritage is uninteresting. It is the same as all Rivasholians. Your parents and their parents made the decision to reproduce while under the influence wow. of Alhul. Right. That is the only... The fucking guy that is. How frustratingly stupid. Go to my patrol car, I suppose, or this car, or this is it. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork vapor emanates from the large engine. This must be the infernal machine that toy from oblivion. The Kuprisk Kanema motor mm. carriage. 
In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat. All right. Ready? I turn, you press start. It's next to the preheater. The dashboard lights up with... The lights unfold with a little click. There you go. I'll turn them off from the remote once you're done. We just need to stand in front of the machine now. The frequency tableau lights the soft purr of electrical... This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. So, uh, I needed to come here, I guess, so that I need to ascertain more Operating who I am or whatever. Easy. Just be confident. You've probably done it a thousand times. <laughs> right. I'll just be normal. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Under the green prime line, a yellow saved button catches your eye. You wonder what the lieutenant's default radio station is. <laughs> okay. I have no reason to press that right now. Uh... Maybe this? Just a second, officer. 10 to 10 five. This is 41st. Uh, come in. Over. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. Oh, I just know this in already. Front of him is a box-shaped apparatus. With the man uses relay code. You got this. You're a cop. 104 message received. 105 relay message. What's your status? 1018. State your message, sir. Uh, I need to report my, uh, my badge. 10 9, over. My badge. 10 4, message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain. Over. Is it him? What does he want? Wow. Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge? Say nothing. Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Okay. Dick Mullen is not your name. Doesn't it's help. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Yep. Defend yourself immediately. They're laughing at you. Uh. Interesting. Uh, it's time to be confrontational. He says this has probably happened to other policemen before him. Oh god damn it! Is he fucking kidding? Satellite officer Vikmar is wondering if you might be joking and adds... Mullen dicked us! Alright. Fucking stop, motherfucker. Stop. Of course it's serious. Satellite officer Vikmar conquers. Losing your badge is serious. Alright, let's just move on. Sir, I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! What's going on? Jesus. Look up here, lost his badge. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. Alright. He asked you to keep... Why? Did he find it? Sergeant Parson was on the... Um, you don't have a comeback. Sorry. It's hard to think like this. Fucking say nothing. He's not replying. Looks like he's still looking for it. Right, Ten whatever. nine, come again. I didn't get that. Over. New Heights even ask him. <laughs> ask him if he's lost his gut. Sergeant Orson wants to check your pockets. Check your holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? <laughs> I don't have my gun. No. It's gone. Ten nine, come in, officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your uh, gun. Christ, here Over. we go. I'm gonna attempt it. Even before Damn. you can get the words out, everything gets scrambled in your brain. Well, of course I didn't lose my gun. Fuck it, I did lose my he gun. He says he didn't lose his gun. Ask him to describe it. His gun. Not as fun. 
Just a gun. Satellite officer McLean. Oh, request a description, huh? We'll give him one. Describe the plasma gun. What the fuck? What the fuck are you packing? It's a single shot kill A9. An armistice to be precise. Says it's a armistice? What is Dear God, he lost his gun. This is a Mac and face a giant of cocoa noodles. Well, I wouldn't have this go in. I didn't pick Oh, I, I can't. I'm not going to ask him. Oh. Sergeant Dorson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Yeah, I'ma go with that. I'ma go with this. Oh that's a fuck the fuck is wrong. That's a negative. What's he saying? He uh the prick ate mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. <clears throat> sure vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate? Shut up, Chester. This isn't funny. Tell him to apologize. You can go fuck Sergeant yourself. Sergeant Dawson requests uh, that you apologize for the claims uh, you made about his mother. Yeah, go fuck Both yourself. Mac, he says uh, you shouldn't have antagon. Who? Satellite officer V. Oh my god. Um, I'm afraid he might be. Fire water? He's lost it. Fuck it. Tell him to find his gut. Satellite officer V. 10 4 at 100 meters. Oh god, I. Officer, do you need further assistance? Over. 10 4, I hear you. What does he want? He's asking. Is he see. I don't see. Don't give that asshole head. Right. Uh, that's a negative on the additional sound, sir. Over. Anything else, sir? Over. Roger that. 10 10. Over and out. Fucking annoying all of that was. Completely waste of my goddamn time. But at least I'm aware they don't have my goddamn gun anymore. An autosave. For what As reason? As you hold your ledger's clip under the headlamp, an iridescent hologram appears. A street grid and the veins of a great river. A familiar sensation washes over you. There she is. Reva West. Okay. Around the borders of the watermark are dozens. No. Hundreds of micro perforations. One thing at a time, I suppose. I'll get the Christian The rectangular curve. watermark is overlaid with the logo of the RCM, and yet the major arteries of Revachol are all recognizable. They a rat brazenly darts past you and disappears amongst the stop lorries. In the ah, Martinez. Let me see. Right here. I'm sure I've seen oh, worse. Oh, yes. Coal City. Le Royaume. The there are many of them, and they are divided into three separate rows. The first row has 18 dots. Not bad. Not bad for what? You don't. The next is the longest. It runs all the way around the border, and then some. Okay. There are so many, it's hard to count. What about the last row? The last row has three per Three. That's it. Those are perforations. They represent your record as an officer of the RCM. Oh shit. They are your statistics, as it were. I should have guessed you'd keep a record. Officers often do. Let's take a look. Oh shit. Alpha male officers who are proud of their numbers often do. It's meant. The first row represents your years of service. 18 years. Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you volunteered? <laughs> I walked around the land telling whores and liars of the end to come. There are 9,855 days remaining. Cool. I'm glad you joined us. Not a lot of money in doom crying. I love this Let's guy. Let's move on, shall we? He's like, cool. This next roll, the one that wraps all the way around, is your number of closed cases. Holy shit, closed dude. Is good. It means finished. Wow, more than 200. Is that a lot? It's quite a lot. Even for someone who's been on the force for nearly two decades. Usually, clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. So, I used to be a Call super cop. You, you were a valuable member of... Right. Those are your confirmed kills. You've got precisely three perforations there. Hmm. For an RCM officer, especially Precinct 41, there are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game. 
Huh. If they do happen to solve a case, it's usually by accident. But it seems as though you are, or at least were, one of the good ones. So we have that to be thankful for. Thanks for this. The lieutenant nods. Let's go. Right. I'll go turn off the lights. Can I sit down? The worn and beaten wooden planks of the... Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've saw... I see. Well, I'm running out of time here. Before night falls and I no longer have a place to sleep. I suppose that there are worse things that could happen. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Two hours? An hour would have been bad. Two hours is mystical. You have truly wiped out all trace of yourself if you haven't thought about rum and lemonade yet. Well, I mean, yeah. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. Have you thought about that? Get a goddamn rum and lemonade into yourself, boy. Or better yet, lick that stain. <laughs> <on the counter laughs> Should I do it? Yeah, I'm a weird man. Calmly, the lieutenant looks out of the window, then to you, licking the tasty rum stain off the counter. What are you doing? I'm an alcoholic. I need to get we my should fit. Move. You could definitely go for some more. The titillating. A colorful piece of plastic is dangling from his carabiner. Mm. Makes your fingers itch. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache. It's a dock worker's ID, doubling as a shift card and a job permit. A young, able-bodied man stares back at you from the photo. I Your see. fingers find their way into the shackle. The man emits a loud snore. Is he about to wake up? Doesn't look like it, but you never know. Better be quick. You slip the plastic ID card out of the loop and just for the record, you look nothing like the man on the document. Okay. You find a black paper note with a woman's profile on it. I'll take yum, some money yum. on it. Money. Think of all the things you can buy with this. The no, he's looking the other way. Perhaps the sleeping dock worker has little to say. The man does not mind. You probably... I wonder if I could sell something to anybody. Several questions to be sure. Hmm. Well, we can go and play with the corpse, I suppose. I am wearing the gloves, after all. I suppose the faster I handle the body, the faster I can worry about paying off my debt and finding a place to fucking sleep. But I suppose I don't technically have to pay the debt if he's gonna kick me out. But if I pay the debt, does that mean that I that I don't that I'm not kicked out? You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Hard to say. Your vision is blurred and you're having difficulty concentrating thanks to your relentless hangover. The tire tracks nice. were left here by an unknown event that took place some days ago. It's a message. 
written in the language of burnt rubber. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. The driver started there and then accelerated straight into the fence, left a hole big enough for the... The driver proceeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building so before drunk. heading south. Must have been in a hurry. You are correct. This is a rather motor carriage friendly city. Somehow that makes you feel scared. You don't know why. Could be me. I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic. You could follow the track south. There seems to be a canal there. See where they went. Oh, sweet merciful Jesus. Many, many, many roads to walk. There's a pile of cheap sun. You like sunglasses, officer? I've got the latest styles right here. These are those UV stickers are almost certainly just there for the show. If anything, these are all first rate sunglasses. Premium design, super material, very cool. UV resistant. Mm. These were Let's see. Got it. Clear waterable shades. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, very interesting choice, officer. Very high culture. This is how a sea monster sees the world. You've become a sea. Yes, but they also make your soul quiver like jello. So deep. What the hell? Wow, officer, you look so cool. And they can be yours for a mere three real. My regular customers have passed them all up because they've got no taste. The lieutenant tilts his head and steps back, eyes narrowed in a... You look like a musician, like a blind musician, but you could do worse. Take them if you want. Eh. Doesn't seem worth it in my eyes. There are clothes. Don't be shy. Save the economy. That sounds off. Haven't you heard, officer? We've got to be economically conscious. Recycle your cash, keep it in circulation. Look around, officer. You see all... Is this mm. really the economy we want to leave to our children? I can't go extinct, officer. You find your hands deep in tattered and... F Economical, but also trendy. Look first hand. Let's go. No Damn problem. it, really? All you can come up with are some treated wool pants. You can tell they're too tight around you. They itch. All natural materials, see? Real wool, 100% skin friendly. Ugh. And they're yours for only two real. I am not buying these fucking itchy pants, bro. I see that there are ways to boost your stats, but it seems that a lot of them come at a cost, and I'm not sure it's even worth it to fuck around with shit like that. Until Wednesday, but today's Monday. Christ, it seems I'm gonna have to be coming back here more times than I can count. And or would like to for that matter. This is a very interesting game to say the least, I would say. It probably perhaps a bit too overly complicated for its own good, but other than that, it's been pretty interesting. Uh oh. Salami salami over here. The boom boxes on the shelf look well loved and well. One especially catches your eye. This is you. Golden orange. A sunset sweet. Just make sure it works before you buy it.
is the Harman Walshy W2, made in Vespa, designed in absolutely. I've tested each one myself. If police work means playing tapes. Hmm. And now I see the purpose of this place even existing. So for the time being, I will simply leave. Not to waste any more time than I already have. And Lord knows I wasted a bunch of time. This is one of those games where you can do so much but accomplish so little in such a long amount of time. What is that? A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. This panel usually closes the water lock, turning it into a bridge that lets you cross the canal. A rusting con This panel usually you pull on the lever all the way up and nothing happens. Push it harder. Nothing happens. Mm hmm. A spring brings the lever back to its original. Wasn't there a sign of their same functionality? Good day to you. A burly man hangs out by the waterlock, carving up a generous serving of salami with an old hunter's knife. His. I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks. The words. Dead devil driver sound ominous to you. Right. Too bad it also takes a year and a day to repair anything around here. Especially a water lock. The rest of the coast is closed off till then. Well, there's the fishing village. Yeah, not really much. It's supposed to operate the water. Safety man. It'll be restarted right, right, on Wednesday right, right, morning. Right. You want to do the honors when the time comes? Do I ever? Suit yourself. Just drop by on Wednesday if you want to see the water lock work again. Wait, 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 wait. It's a safe. It'll be restarted. Do I ever? Just drop in on Wednesday if you want to see the water lock at work. They say the canal crew will be. How about that sure slime? Thing. Want some too, officer? Why not? Uh. I've had some free salami. Not much of a thing, if anything, truly, but... Well, it's plain to figure out what the fuck happened. This Posla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection <laughs> That's right, I'm petting the mailbox, because why not? The box seems happy. Good. That shit pig, fucked by the coon, and Saint G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore, and best set mailbox also. The mail collection box seems cathartic. Thankfully, even so, do you. You shudder, then you swallow. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> That's a really interesting way to gain morale. To pet the delivery box. That's quite the building there. Destroyed as it is. Here we are again. There he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated. The ammonia only makes it work. The second time, Fucking hell. not so much. When the vomiting is done, your cheeks are wet with tears. Christ. Are you okay, officer? The weight is reassuring, like a crenel on... You're facing tough odds here. It's aggravated further by alcohol withdrawal. Ugh. 
I've seen captains puke their guts out, then drive to the station, maybe throw up on the way there. I think I've lost my sense of sp not being hungover helps too. Yeah, but I can't just keep fucking drinking. I'll be able to pay the. Ugh, it's cyclical. No, this is it. You need to get your shit together. We should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back and have another go. Christ. Let's see what's in here then, I suppose. Never mind, I ain't seeing what's in there. Alright, okay. I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. I, I am the law. From another planet. Hey there. I am the law. <laughs> I am the law. You sure are, my man. From another planet. So what's going on here? What's the jam, my man. What's it's the a jam? Traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's official. He too agrees. This is the antechamber of the afterlife. <laughs> nice. Oh, whoops. Advanced race theory. I've completed the thought, it seems. Everything is calm in the eye of the race storm. Your mind is lucid and bright. The mind bending phylogenetics appear more distant and, to be fair, a little ridiculous. Christ. The great race mystery has cleared up. All that's left to do is verbalize your thoughts. Go and talk to Measurehead about your new sound. Measure is mostly aesthetic. Alright, let's go talk to Dick Bag. Oh, well, the fucking thing is open too. Shit, I should do that first. Shit, how much time do I actually have? Time is a fickle bitch. Hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. As you step in, he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only word, okay, it's definitely not his name. Whatever you do, please don't call him Garansi Quebec. Please, <sighs> it's not funny. All right. The man puts his cup down and replies something, his left hand drawing arcs in the air. He smiles and bangs. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted. You see a heavy steel door. You immediately feel drawn to the color. Blue is for mystery. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. The witch, outside, in the backyard. Remember? No, your fingers do. Hmm. Well, if they. It's hardly a side investigation. You already have a name for it. Oh. 
It's hardly worth a title. Anyway, Gart is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. The cobalt blue surf old cobalt paint. Rough on the fingers. The door does not budge. Can I help you? Another thing. Great. I love those. Oh, yes, that door. Sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. See? I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. Or some boring storage space with a bun- He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. Fine, okay. A little. <sighs> but my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. So, I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though, after the animals. And I haven't found a key, so... Yes? I see. Well, that was sort of underwhelming, but at least we've opened up yet another pseudo quest line, a... a train of thought with which to travel upon! This game is interesting. I suppose that's kind of the point. Simply so. Give myself some might since Meathead over here is being a fucking dick waffle. Find booze and drink it. Or I can just be sober for a while. After all, why not? Party here, being watched. I would likely not get the alcohol I want from the man who I owe a lot of money to. So I'll simply work around that for the time being. The unpromising raised pupil returns. And. Everyone can see that. Baby, don't be mean. Give him an... <laughs> Anything for you, babe. Anything for you, babe. Look, babe. The minion of Lord. So? The basic race education he received in high school has led him to think his phylum are the soul of basic racist. I t Very well. Finally. All right, we got it. Cool. The hell out of my way, please. Am I might. I meant to go back down now. The unpromising race pupil returns. And I've accomplished what I need. Ah, yes. Okay, fantastic.
an imposing combination of a punch clock and a payphone is looking down at you from the wall. A note on the side says, tokens unavailable due to strike. Use change. Fuck that. Certainly nothing you to even do then. Sure, I mean, you could just push in. Front of this quarterly journal featured because, because to your after rifle the magazine is divided into several com but only here, so. four issues in and it sounds like they've already alienated their readers so please if you value our radical Mazovian perspective on contemporary politics you flip back to the front of the magazine this section you all face it you flip back to the front of the magazine it takes a moment. Why they decided to title this one section in Volda is beyond you. It evokes a sense of recognition and fellowship among those privileged enough to understand. As you leaf through this section, the main feature, the Tip Top Tourney, is an inter- oh my God, it is This so-called artist spotlight is written. You th instead, you find yourself skimming a tent. Where to? So, all of it, basically. Oddly, there's no way those. Have you ever met anyone named Exilus? And thus, the and that precise. At the end of the day, it's the destruction of these 750,000 real races that you're really watching for. Sure, you think that, but subconsciously. It's the visions of brand names being engulfed in flame. That's because you haven't been reading critically. But don't worry. Ah, oh, come on. Can this article read your mind? Well, there you have it. No reason to. If I had. You flip back to the front of the magazine. Unsurprised. You skim. Finally, there's a brief article by the writer, G. Martin, accusing the owner of the Cape Side Apartments, the eternal there. problem, according to G. Martin is that under capitalism, the worker is rendered incapable of perceiving that. Thus, they tend to experience their own Is, is that true? Have you felt estranged from your own self recently? Yeah, but that's because they nearly died, right? The front of the Bizarre scientific news from Rivershot West today, where a police officer's shit has been observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. That's serious shit. These metallic hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at the center of collapsing stars, not law officials. It remains to be seen how long the shit singularity lasts. I see. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing. This is your cloak. You can feel it. Yes, it does bear the RCM in The service cloak is issued to you by your... As your fingers touch the tarpaulin, I will shield you from the elements and give my life for yours. Quite interesting, that. S 
snow is quietly covering the numerous wine bottles and cigarette butts on the ground. <laughs> Someone partied really, really hard here. Well, yes, I think we can say with relative confidence that it was you. Mm. Yes, this scene isn't exactly... Interesting. This is the night watchman's booth. Listen, it's okay to take a few minutes to yourself. Sit down and have a breather. If you must, but please hurry. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean and there's sparse con- Let's get going. The entire neighborhood can see us up here. Looks like that's broken. Explore, that's for sure. But I suppose this exploration is good for something. Several things like that. Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, 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 put the goggles on. on. Oh. The well, lyrics to this I. container song are being made up. The accent is so thick, it's impossible not to notice he's Ubi from the vanishing peninsula of Ubi Sunt on Moindi. Container, container, used to be wild pines. Container, oh. Debra, 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 he looks after everyone. Uh. Huh? Well, hey there. How can I help you, mister? So, joy. I see you are not a union man, mister. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? What is it with people? I mean, scabs? I don't personally mind. Folks is just folks, you know. And folks gotta eat. Just some of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. Oh, you want Mr. Everhart then? He's an awfully nice fellow, he is. Him and his brother, guys like Mr. Everhart mm. and Mr. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. Made Martinez what it is today. Mr. Oh, Mr. Mr. Everhart is where he always is. In his office, of course. It's true, it's true. Okay. Oh, that one. That should be empty as far. Oh, we're on a strike. So no one is working. <laughs> Not everyone is down there, of course. Mr. Evrar is in his office, where he all ate. But Titus and his boys got into some drunken trouble and Evrar sent them on a nice vacation for a week or so. Hmm. Oh, I'm not really supposed to talk about Him and his boys stirred up something in town. Probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. I, I guess the boys got a bit too rowdy and had to let out some steam. I don't really know the detail. Easy, Leo. Let's keep this on the hearty. Look at him. It's not going to be anything useful anyway. Don't fight it. Better to go with the flow. I, but Mr. Mr. Everard and Mr. Edgar are real nice guys, Mr. You should go talk to Mr. Edgar. Oh, so. <laughs> but Ty, oh, I, him and his, I guess. Easy. Look at him. Too late. Now he's talking about some drunk sawmill owner who... No. Bye bye. Alright, well... It's only pseudo useful, I suppose. But we're onward and upward. Now we've already gone over what I intended to do. I'll play for another five, maybe ten minutes or so. Hey, you know, if, you have, if you've gotten this far, you should like and subscribe, obviously. Doi, da doi. Uh... So you can see more of Disco Elysium. I probably should mention that at the beginning of videos too, you know, such as it is. 
But I prefer to believe that you people enjoy the video so much that they just want to subscribe. Anyways, I should have to tell you to do so, but oh my god, look at this man! I should have known. Buy a swordfish. Before you is the walrus of a man seated behind a large desk. He looks up from his work, not the least bit surprised to see you. Everything about this man screams, run, run. With great effort, he straightens himself up in his chair, yet says nothing. He simply stares at you. Welcome, Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsuragi. It's good of you two to stop by. Please. Have a seat. Well, that's Mr. Dubois. He already knew that we were coming. I'm Everard, Everard Clare, head of the Debardes Union here in Martinez. I'd offer you my hand, but unfortunately, my health prevents me from getting up. You understand? I'll look at you. He looks extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, looks like a torture device. <laughs> you go ahead, detective. Whatever he has in store for you, it can't be good, he thinks. Forget about that. What's with this Dubois stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that name. I'd rather stay. Please, Mr. Dubois, let us converse in a civilized manner as equals. Take a seat. I don't. I insist. Sit. It's just kind of Very right. well, Mr. Dubois. I respect a man with strong convictions. I, too, have convictions. What should you find yourself? You're no titan of volition, buddy. He's got you in a fork. Sit down or leave. Excellent, Mr. Dubois. I can see that you're a reasonable man, and reasonable men, reasonable men can be of great use to one another. He gives you a sly wink. Try to wink back. Damn, this chair is uncomfortable. So tell me, how can the head of the Debardes Union help a representative of the rep? The chair you're sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable chair in the world. Oh, by the way, I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain Lawrence Gart. Some people have no manners, it pains me to say. This should take care of that nonsense. It should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with a cafeteria manager. Wow, that's 25 real. That's good money. You Only need 25. it. Yes, I know, Lawrence. He's a real character. No union man in him. A real piece of work. With a grin, he points to the checker game. It's like you're on a game show. At least don't thank him for it. I don't understand, but... For... I don't look gift horses in the mouth. I take... Is there anything you'd like to say? No. Cool? I wouldn't go that far. I'm sure there are cooler things than delivering a comically oversized novelty check to a... Now, I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. Your lost gun. His slug-like lips move, but all you hear is an echo. Lost gun. Lost gun. Lost gun. I can't believe this man knows everything. The world is swallowed by a black hole of fear. Only two words escape its gravitation. Nothing about this man pull. is good. Lost and gun. When he said, don't worry, he actually meant, be very worried. No. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I, I, I'm scrolling. Uh, I made the mistake of scrolling with my... My... Shit. Never mind. Are you all right, Harry? You say you got this, but you seem a little... It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now. Point... It was loaded. There were two bullets in it. You always keep at least two barrels loaded. Officer, we will do... I wouldn't be so sure about that. Son of a bitch. 
Alright, here we go. God, you're sweating. Your knee is jerking. You're about to cry, aren't you? You're about to cry because you lost your gun and those children are gonna sh You want to cry? God, you're weak. Whatever you- Mr. Dubois. What is this Mr. Dubois he keeps repeating? What is he trying to pull here? You need to cool the fuck down. Chill. This man is- Mr. Dubois. Mr. Dubois. Harry. There are no Harry's safe place. Mr. Dubois. Maybe you could use your hands somehow, in a kind of throw-in motion, like you're throwing that Mr. Dubois act right back at him. He's Mr. Dubois. Don't be dramatic. I can. What an odd demonstration of. Huh. You got me, Harry. I don't even know what. As entertain. Okay, enough. We are here to ask you some... Quick, here's your window. It is about time to stop embarrassing yourself. Questions will help you regain some of your lost dignity. Oh, of course. That's your main thing here. That's why you're in Martinez. I know everything that goes on around here. I mean, it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike. So much to talk about. Honestly... It's been weighing on me so heavily. I understand you need to interview me. But there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night. I want to talk about the hanging. I mean... It yes, that sounds good. Let's do that. I see. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. You're police officers, aren't you? I have a crazy idea. You guys are basically door-opening machines. Incredibly talented at opening doors. Kim, is that true? Or are we door machines? I'm not machines? sure I understand. If you're asking us to break down someone's door, it's not going to happen. Come now. I just need you to go open a little door for me and leave it unlocked. A simple thing. Absolutely nothing shady about it. An excellent opportunity presents itself, sire. You could win the trust of the arch liar. Pretend to play into his hand. Then, should you wish, Bend his efforts towards your own. Oh, no one's. It's just a weasel. A weasel lives there. Harry, I'm a very busy man. You want to send someone a message that the police are... I repeat, I'm a very, very busy man, Mr. Kitsuragi. Harry, my dear friend. I am what people call a local bigwig. I know e A loud blabbering weasel. When weasels feel no one is watching, they start to just go there, unlock the door, and leave it open. It's been such a burden on me, Harry. Fantastic! You can get the key from Manyana. He's down by the gates. Manyana is like a free agent in the Union. Get it Special from operations. Hardened socialist. A real free thinker, too. He'll tell Just open the door. You don't need to go in or anything. I just want that weasel to come home and see the unlocked door. Honestly, I didn't want to bring it up, Harry. I heard you have become Measurehead's race pupil. Of course, Harry, of course. You're not some kind of a fantastic racist now. And rest assured, no one's gonna know what you did with race there, Harry. Your race bonanza is safe anyway, I assure you. This fucking guy is a real piece of shit. Of course, let us dispatch with the formalities. You call me... My God, so it's true. I didn't want to believe it, but you are a fantastic science fiction amnesiac cop, aren't yes. you? What are the odds of that? I think the odds of that are very low. It might be a good idea to hide your confusion. I mean, see what his game is for. So good to hear that, Harry. Apparently, my sources were wrong. However, if you did have a... Words flow like a river of honey from... I guess word has already reached him. Are you trying to tell me you've gotten hold of some of our documents? Mr. Kitsuragi, would you mind? Me and Harry are talking about... Don't just jump to the folder. That's not smart. Shows you're on the edge. Do some probing first.
It's Harry. Harry Dubois. Fine, Harry. You can even be... <sighs> <laughs> Mr. Kitsuragi doesn't seem even slightly empathetic to your memory loss, Harry. I, however, wish to help you any way I can. Ah, this? My friend... This translates into... Haha, you guys are so corrupt. I find that very suspicious. I'm afraid this is meant for union eyes only, Mr. Kitsuragi. I'm sure you understand. Please continue, Harry. Alright, let's kill it. Maybe. As you look at the folder, Evera covers it with his hand and pets it. Is he trying? Okay, Harry, you got me. This is from the Census Bureau, not the RCM. Those Census Bureau people are absolutely corrupt. You should do something about them. Do something about your fucking face, you piece of shit. You get the you name from fucker. the Census Bureau and everything else from your. Yes, yes, Mr. Kitsuragi from the Census Bureau. Like I said, now I'm actually a very busy man, so is there any- That means he doesn't really pity. The mystery of you will have to remain- Yes, that's what I said. Try to keep up, okay? Let's move on. Yes, your gun will- The only way to find it seems to be working with him. He might even be holding your gun hostage. Who knows? Only one thing is certain. If you work with him, you're going to get it back. And working with him might be the only way to do it. Damn it, Harry. That's exactly what it means. I'm only kidding, of course. Of course. I understand. We help you, you help us. Wait. You need this to get in and out through the gate. Here, you're one of us now. A real red. I would love to kill this fat buck. Save me a lot of trouble, I feel. Oh, it's now 148. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap here. Jesus Christ, I knew this was gonna happen. I this is that kind of game where you can play it forever and not, again, you can play it for hours at a time but never get anything done. It just, it's such, everything is such small incremental steps. Very much like life, but good lord. Oh my god. Alright, well, it's time to save. Such as it is, I am John. This has been Disco Elysium. I hope to see you in the next episode. Such as it is. Yeah. Good day, good night. Good. Well. Good existence to you. And see, I guess I, I'm going to play some more tomorrow. Or today, even. So I guess look forward to that. Because I really am myself, honestly. But until next time.